How to remove a Hyper-V virtual Ethernet switch. A stale VM switch in Hyper-V is no longer used and when I try to delete it, it always fails with the following message. Attempting to delete within the GUI does not work, either. A similar problem was resolved on Microsoft's TechNet forums. We have a virtual switch set up in the virtual switch manager and the adapter has been deleted by mistake using the change adapter settings of the network and sharing center. Now, obviously the switch is in a failed state and we just want to remove it from the list. Ultimately, the op performed an in-depth search within the registry and found the virtual switch configuration stored within the following key. HKLM backslash system backslash current control set backslash services backslash VMSMP backslash parameters backslash switch list. After they deleted the corresponding value within that key and rebooted, the virtual switch was gone. As always, I would recommend that you export your current settings to a dot reg file to have an appropriate backup before attempting similar changes. Source can't remove failed virtual switch from Hyper-V's virtual switch manager. I didn't want to install the Azure PowerShell tool so I just followed the steps in this video, this URL. Basically you go to Network Connections in GT, open Properties for the virtual switch you want to delete in GT, click Configure in GT. Go to the driver tab in GT, uninstall device. To prevent the Hyper-V service from creating a new one next time I restart my computer without disabling it altogether I changed the startup type of each Hyper-V service to be manual. Even though I'm not using Docker, I wanted to figure out a solution without using Regedit. So after attempting the answer from Rob Vatar, I found instructions on this question on MS TechNet. Or, for a more filtered optoin, this is what I needed. Also, I'm going to assume that you'll want to follow at MXGG250's advice, and set all Hyper-V services to manual start, otherwise it's going to recreate the switch on reboot. I am not sure if this is right but worked for me, this URL. Update. Source unable to delete network adapter in Windows 10. Method 1 Use Device Manager. The first thing you can try to do is open Device Manager, click on Start and type Device Manager. Expand Network Adapters, and then right-click on the Network Adapter you want to remove. Here, you will see an option called Uninstall Device. This should hopefully not be grayed out. If it is, continue to the next method. When you select Uninstall Device, another window will appear asking to confirm the uninstall. You also see an option to delete the driver software for the device. If you want to completely remove the network adapter, I suggest selecting this option to remove the driver also. If all goes well, you should see that the adapter has been removed from both device manager and the list of network adapters in control panel. If you don't see the device listed here, you can try to click on view and then show hidden devices. 
Method 2. Delete Network Profile We can also try to delete the network profile via the command line and then try method 1 again. First, you have to open an elevator command prompt by clicking on Start, typing in CMD, and then right-clicking on Command Prompt and choosing Run as Administrator. Now type in the following command to see all wired, Ethernet, adapters. If you need to remove a wireless adapter, type this command. If you get some error message about the wired or VLAN autoconfig service not running, then click on Start, type in services.msc, right-click on the appropriate service and choose Start. Now when you run the command, you should see a list of profiles. In my case, I only have one profile on this computer. Next, type in the following command, which will delete the desired interface. Again, if it's a wireless interface, use VLAN instead of LAN. The interface name is listed at the top of each heading, Profile on Interface Name, when you ran the Show Profiles command. Once the profile has been deleted, restart your computer and try Method 1 again. Method 3. Remove Adapter Settings via Registry Important! If you need to edit the registry, make sure you back up the registry first. In addition to deleting the network profile, you can also try to remove the adapter settings via the registry. After you remove the settings, you can go back to method 1 and try to remove the adapter. To remove the settings, open the registry editor, click on start and type in regedit.msc and navigate to the following key. You'll see several items listed with a long series of random numbers. If you click on each one, you'll see the IP address that is assigned to that network adapter. You can confirm which network adapter corresponds to that registry key by opening a command prompt, start and type cmd, and typing in ipconfig. As you can see, Ethernet adapter is the one that has an IP address of 192.168.1.233. So you would delete the key under interfaces that starts with 73123F2A at 10.4F4B900E. If you click on a different interface, one of them will have the IP 192.168. 247.1, which corresponds to the VMware network adapter on the computer. Again, this only deletes the settings for the adapter, not the adapter itself. Restart the computer and try method 1 again. For further information please refer to the following link. This URL. If you want to support the channel, please consider subscribing.